Hi guys, how are you today? My name is Bailey Sarian, and I wanted to create a really nice, soft Valentine's Day look that you can easily do and wear and try. As some of you may know, hi, my name is Bailey Sarian, and I'm an Ipsy creator. What that means is that each month I get a little bit more items in my glam bag for me to try out, to use, to show you guys how to use them, or give you just ideas in general how to use the items as well. I will shut up and go. One of the first items that I got in my glam bag is the Meteor Shower by Black. So this is a body exfoliator and it has charcoal in it, but also has actual meteors in it to help exfoliate the skin. So it gives a really pretty luminosity and you can kind of see it on my hands. It's so pretty. I was curious because I was wondering how they got meteor in their scrub. They were saying that when a meteor comes through the earth, it dissolves and releases a bunch of meteor into the earth and then they go pick it up and they put it in their product. I guess it's really rare and hard to find. I don't know, it's pretty cool, I love it. So I washed my face and now I'm going to be using the Acto Moisture Retaining Day Lotion. So this has green tea extract and chamomile, which is gonna help soothe redness or irritation. I'm just using a tiny bit all over my face. So I'll make sure that I'm super hydrated and my makeup doesn't look dry. So once I've moisturized my face, I wanna moisturize my lips. This is the Bubble Tea Macaroon Lip Balm. So this has lemon essential oils and jojoba oils, which is gonna help give a deep hydration to the lips. So I'm just placing this on my lips because they're dry, they're chapped, and I wanna make sure that they're prepped and ready to go. Now I'm going to prime my face. So this is the Haley's Beauty Refine Prime. This is going to, well, first of all, the package is really cute, I love it. I don't know, I don't know why I love it so much. I think because it's small and it could fit into like your pocket or something. I don't know, but I love it. So this really helps prep the skin. It creates a really smooth canvas, which will help lay like when your foundation goes on, it just lays nice and smooth. I'm mainly focusing in the areas where I have larger pores, like right in here. Girl, I need some, I need some smoothing. For foundation, today I'm using the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. I have the shade 20 Rose Beige, and I'm using my Clarisonic Mia 2 with my foundation brush head to apply. With my Lancome Ultra Wear Makeup Stick in 420 Bisque Neutral, I like to use this to contour. I'm gonna use my Clarisonic to blend it out. So I feel like the lights are a little too bright. I wanna tone it down a bit because I want you to see what's going on on my face. So let me turn out the lights three, Two, one. <laughs> Rachel! <laughs> what is this de delay? <laughs> the, I felt like the lighting was just washing me out. For concealer, I'm doing the Makeup Revolution. This is the Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour. I have the shade C5. I'm dabbing it right underneath my eyes. I'm trying not to get the mirror in the way, but like, you can't see what I'm doing. I'm just using my sponge to lightly blend it out. NARS Soft Velvet Loose Powder in Beach, and I'm just lightly going to set underneath my eyes. This will prevent my concealer from creasing or fading on me. Um, I'm not gonna set all over my face because I'm so dry right now. It's just gonna make me look really dry. So I'm just focusing where I have the concealer. It's Beauty Basics Eyeshadow, and I have the shade Lavish. I'm gonna use my finger to apply this on my lid. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It has a very intense pigment. A little bit goes a long way. You can use a brush to apply, but foiled eyeshadows usually work best with your finger, and then come back with a brush and blend it. So I'm just using a blending brush with nothing on it, and coming back and forth to really blend and soften it out. The Naked Cosmetics Eyeshadow Number zero two, Desert Sunset. It's a shimmery ro rose gold shade, and you can use it as a cheek highlight um, on your eyes on your lips, whatever you want. In a small brush, I'm gonna place it in my tear duct. I mean, a tiny bit of this stuff goes a long way. I love it. So tear duct, and then I'm gonna come along my lower lash line. Mm -hmm. Go back to that Beauty Basics eyeshadow. I should put some along my lower lash line, because I didn't even do that. With a small brush, I'm just gonna place that one right along my lower lash line from the middle of my lash line outwards, connecting with that Naked Cosmetics shadow. Now I'm going to add a little bit of eyeliner because I wanna keep this very soft. I don't want to go too dramatic and thick and winged eyeliner, I just want a smidge. The Mellow Precision Pen Eyeliner. It dries super quick. It has a, sorry, felt tip point to it. I don't know why I said sorry. I need to stop saying sorry. Press it right along the lash line 
This will give the illusion that I have a thicker lash line, but it won't take away from the soft, soft eye I'm going for. My shaky ass hands always make it thick. For mascara, I'm using the Pink Pewter Lash, but not least, dual-sided mascara. So it has two different wands to it, which I think is awesome. This is the curling, the curling side. It has a bunch of little teeth on it and a ball. I love a ball coming near my eye. And then this one adds a lot of volume. This is also water resistant, so it comes off easily with warm water, but it won't like flake throughout the day or run down your face. Estate Cosmetics Dumi Baked Highlight Powder, and this is the shade Afterglow. It has a really pretty iridescent sheen to it. It's a very creamy baked highlighter, and it gives you a multi-dimensional glow. I think I got a little too much. I'm just gonna take my sponge and dab over it. It'll push into the skin and make it look a little bit more softer. I, got, I just got a little crazy with it, my bad. For my lips, I'm using the Mellow Matte Liquid Lip Paint, and this is in the shade Tehran. This is a long wearing formula that is super hydrating and it's infused with vitamin E. Ooh. The last item that I got in my glam bag is the Minus 417 Hand Moisturizer. I like to do hand moisturizer after I do my makeup and everything just because I get makeup on my hands. So once they're clean, I put on my hand moisturizer. This one is nice because it's super hydrating to the skin, but it also is quick absorbing so it doesn't feel greasy at all. I hope that you have a really good day today. I wanna to say a big thank you to Ipsy and all the brand partners for the goodies that I received in my February glam bag. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a good day, make good choices. I'll see you guys later. Bye.